Hello guys, Imanol here. Today, I'm going to show you how to install and use the Substance Designer Library with Toolbag. This plugin version works with Designer 2019 and newer, so let's get started. From Gumroad, download the zip of the version 2.0.1 or greater and extract it. Inside, you'll find a folder called Show List Link. Copy the folder and paste it in the Designer Python's plugin folder. You should locate located in your Documents, Algorithmic, Substance Designer, Python, SD User Plugins. Now let's open Substance Designer, and to verify the plugin won't start correctly, go to Tools, Plugin Manager, and you should be able to see it listed with the checkbox enabled. If it is not enabled, just enable it and restart Designer. Also, you should be able to see a new window in your Designer interface, called Substance Designer Live Link. If you cannot see it, check it is enabled in the Windows menu. Now let's install the Tupac client and verify the license of the plugin. Let's go to the Config tab of the plugin, and to install the client, select the version of toolbag that you want to use. In my case, I will select 4. The path will be automatically selected, so you can just click the Install button. To verify it works, we can click the Folder button, and we should be able to see a new folder called Show List Link inside the Plugins folder. Now, let's open toolbag and verify it is working. Let's go to Edit, Plugins, and select Show List Link. And if everything is working, a new window should appear. Now, if we open Designer, both apps should be connected. We can see it in the Connection section of the plugin in Designer and the plugin window on Toolbag. It is important to notice that the connection will only be available as long as the Toolbag plugin window is open. If we close it, the connection will end, and if we open it, it will start again. Next, before sending anything between the apps, we need to verify the plugin. First, let's open the Python editor located in Windows Python editor and here we'll be able to see all the messages of the plugin, like errors, warnings, etc. Then we go to the config tab, paste the license we got from Gumroad, and click verify. If successful, the email associated with the license will appear in the email field, and a success message will appear in the Python editor. Finally, it's time to see the plugin in action. In the connection section, you'll see the designer instance unique ID, the connected apps, in this case only toolbag, the available renders, for toolbag is only toolbag, and the available presets. Standard is the only one at the moment. Now let's see how the notes button works. Let's open an empty graph and click the button. As you can see, this will help you create the available output for each render preset. For example, toolbag uses PBR metallic roughness, so when I click the notes button, all the outputs will be created. If I have nothing selected, the outputs will be created at the origin, and if I select a node, they will be created after the selection. If I don't intend to use an optional map like Opacity or MESIP, I just need to delete the output node. And if you already have outputs in your substance, you can use those. The only important thing to consider is that the identifiers must match the text defined in the presets generated by the nodes button. Now, with a substance material fully created and the outputs connected, let's send it to Toolbag. First, we need to define the material name. We can write a custom name or click the arrow button to get the name of the current graph. Then we have the path in which all the text resources will be exported. By default, all will be exported to an export folder in your documents. Next, we have the format. In my case, I will use PNG. Then we have a checkbox called Linear Workflow. Enable it if you are using 32-bit files like EXR. And finally, we have Emission and High Options, in case you are using those maps. Then we have two buttons, Send and Update. Send will create the material from scratch, and Update will only export the maps. That way, you will keep the changes in case you modify the material after creating it the first time. Let's click Send. Let's go back to Toolbag, and now we will have a new material. We assign it to the cylinder, and everything is working as expected. Well, that's all for now. See you next time. Good luck.